Good Monday, everybody. Welcome to a very interesting place to do uh, the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. We are in my house. As you can see, I have my Hobbit feet. I'm barefoot. We're in my living room. And this is where we're going to do today's show. Uh, today's focus and next week's focus will be our eBay store. So everything you see is stuff I have loaded up on eBay for your enjoyment. So let's get things started. Also, make sure you guys click on the links to go to the descriptions, and that'll get you to where you need to go to shop. First thing I have today is Homicide, number one, Dead Tears. I have a couple of these. It's $10. A lot of the stuff you're going to see today is all stuff from um, the old Chaos days, so there'll probably be some WWF stuff, WWE, ICP, a bunch of other really cool stuff that we have um, published in Brian's past. So this is mostly all chaos comics today. So click on the link on the eBay store, start picking these up. Next thing I have, this is a set I put together. This is Cremator number one through four. And this is $12. There we go. Daryl Johnson says, what's up? Daryl, how's it going, man? Are you enjoying um, uh, being cooped up at the house? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very weird thing to be doing. Um, I'm be working at home for the next two weeks, and uh, Mondays I'll be broadcasting live from my living room, so everyone welcome to my house. Um, I have a live studio audience of two, and my wife is cooking dinner in the kitchen next, next door to us. So, Daryl, thank you for watching. Anybody else, give me a shout out. Let me know you're watching. Say hey. Next up, another classic. This is a three pack, the Chaos Quarterly, one, two, and three. It's $25 for the set. This is my last set. Um, if you see things pulled together sets, these are my last ones. Um, so yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. But these are some great covers. Look at this, you got Julie Bell. The original is in our archives. Very popular. That would, be, would have been a great t-shirt back in the day. We also have Joe Jusco cover. And the great Boris Vallejo doing the Lady Demon. Again, all three of these, $25. I only have one set. And this will be at our eBay store, Coffin Comics. Go on there, click on the links on our eBay store. And we will get you picked up today. A couple other things I have today from the Chaos Comics past. Bad Kitty number four, premium cover by Scott Lewis. I have a few of these, and this is going for seven. Next up, I have... The Bad Kitty Premium Cover, also by Scott Lewis. This is number one. This is $8. I have a few of these I've uploaded onto our store. There go. It's a really cute cover. I like the cat. It's really gorgeous. Next up, I got a couple of these as well. This is the Bad Kitty number one gold foil. I have a couple of these going for 15. And again, as you can see, classics from the 90s and 2000s. I think Brian was one of the last folks to still be doing stuff in foil lettering. Um, it's always cool to see this stuff. So I've been digging around. I've got a lot of boxes full of stuff I'll be loading up for the next two weeks onto the eBay store. Lots of stuff. Um, I'm probably looking at a couple hundred or more. Um, again, I'll be doing stuff with sets and um, individuals. It's my last ones. Um, but I definitely, if I have quantities, I will have quantities on there. So definitely, uh, I got a lot of work cut out for us um, and for myself. So I'm gonna load up the eBay store so much with so much stuff, you guys are gonna love it. A lot of cool stuff I'm going to be uploading. And thank you, everyone, who's been joining our eBay store and scooping up a lot of really cool stuff. Um, we mostly have a lot of older things on there, but we also have new stuff and limited stuff on there. I also have a few uh, challenge coins left. Um, if you're looking for some challenge coins and stuff like that. Um, I also created a um, print 
um, grab bag where you get five randomly selected prints for $25 on there. I made 25 sets. Uh, two went out yesterday, I believe. So if you like our prints and you like the whole trading card aspects, definitely uh, pick those up. Like I say, it's a great deal. Those prints are normally $16 a piece at the store. I'm doing these at uh, five for 25 and they're all random. There is some signed. There's some of the limited ones, some really old stock. Um, I think some of you will be surprised and uh, a bunch of other surprises that I can find to throw them in there for you guys. And it's a great deal. Next up, I have a copy of Armageddon number three. This is gonna be going for $5 on our site. Now, if those of us don't remember, uh, Armageddon was the big uh, event book that Chaos Comics had um, from 99 to 2000. And it was a four issue run and it was really popular because it was basically Armageddon coming to the Chaos Universe. So all the characters were converging and fighting and doing some other cool stuff. And because of that, I have issues one, two, three, and four, $25 for the set. This is all I have left of these. I had a couple extra of the threes, but right here, all four covers, all four issues, you'll get one, two, there's number three, and a four. All that for $25. This is my last set of Armageddon. These are the last copies, aside from the issue I have here, which is uh, issue two, it's a three. So I only have one set of this. It's on our eBay store, Coffin Comics. Click on it, you see the beautiful Brian Polito's face in the nice little profile picture. And I have a ton of stuff on there. We have over a hundred items, plus I'm adding more every day. So check it out. It's always going to be freshen up and it might be your chance to scoop up some of the last stuff I have onesies, twosies. So definitely check it out. This is where you'll find a lot of the cool old stuff that Brian Polito created, published, wrote, and all the other great artists we've had over the years. Next up, I remember this one was really popular. Purgatory versus Lady Death. This is $6. I have a few copies left of these. This is a really popular fight. Everyone loved uh, the Purgatory and Lady Death fights. And this, I believe, is their second match. The first one was uh, Lady Death versus Purgatory, if I'm correct. Six dollars. Again, gray art. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful work. Classic, classic chaos. Look at that, so much action. Boom. I love that splash page. They are going at it till only one survives. Okay, that's Purgatory versus Lady Death 1, $6. Next up, I have a really nice, cool one I found. This is the Purgatory Ravenous Ash Can. This is $20. I only have a few of these. Uh, interesting thing about this, uh, this book was never published. So this is the only way you'll be able to see this book. When are these gonna go up for sale? They're going up to sale now. They're right now available on our eBay store. Has some beautiful pencil sketches inside. Script notes, some rough page layouts. And you also have uh, character designs too in the back. The classic Chaos logo, classic stuff. This is the Rav Purgatory Ravenous number one ash can. I have a few of these and that is going for $20. And then I also found a couple signed copies, signed by Brian. These are 25. I have one or two of this and that's it. So once they're gone, these are gone. Like I say, I told you guys I was gonna do a lot of digging and I was gonna do a lot of rummaging around in all the boxes at HQ and anywhere else I can find old boxes to get some really cool classic stuff I know people have been looking for. And um, hopefully we uh, will have what you need to finish your collection or to add to your collection. So we have always got good stuff. And again, a real classic cover from the 90s. Purgatory, number one, Vampire's Myth. This is a $25. This is signed by Brian Polito, Jason Jensen, 
and Jim Ballant. I have a few of these up. It's $25, and this is buy now. And then also, one thing that's really cool is, and I forgot about this, is how this cover wraps all the way around. So you get that really cool foil jade in the back. It's gorgeous. When Brian first started doing covers like this, that was a game changer. I mean, I'd never seen anyone do a foil cover that was 3D embossed like this. It's just a beautiful work of art. Um, I knew people that bought multiple copies so they could uh, take off the cover and unfold it so you could see the full effect of the cover. And this is a signed one. I have a couple of these available. They're $25. They do come with the old classic Chaos Comics certificate of authenticity too. So I thought that was really unique. Um, Creators of Chaos. So that was a really cool find. I'm really glad I did some digging and I got extra dirty on those ones. Next up, I also have the unsigned edition. I have some of these at $10. Again, just beautiful book. For those who maybe don't want their stuff already signed or have their stuff signed at all, we do have some really fresh covers. These are $10 and these are all items that are available on our eBay store. I say we been uploading a lot of different stuff on there and definitely trying to keep it uh, interesting and give you stuff that you probably won't find at the um, <clears throat> Lady Death store. So another classic, Purgatory Vampire Myth number two. This is $5. Amazing cover by the great Jim Ballant. It's a very popular issue in the series when this was coming out. I remember... Um, People asking about it um, when it was coming out um, in the previews magazines. And I believe at the time there was also uh, still capital distribution. So there was more than just Diamond at the time. There was, uh, when I started in 94, there was about three um, comic book distributors in the country that really tried to um, get everything um, out to all the shops. Well, slowly but surely, as other companies started to get more exclusive deals from other publishers, they slowly ate them up. So now you have Diamond Comics, which is distributing worldwide, and that's where everyone gets their comic books. Or you can always order direct, so if there's any wholesales out there, um, we also do wholesale accounts for you as well. So if you have any questions, send them to inquiries at coughingcomics.com, and we'll see about getting you started with a wholesale account today for all you shop owners out there. Another classic, Purgatory number three, $5. Only have like one or two of these left. So once these are sold on my eBay store, that's it, they're gone. Again, classic, classic stuff. Beautiful Jim Ballinart, who at the time was uh, wrapping up his Catwoman run at DC. And then I remember when he started doing his own thing at Broadsword to do the um, uh, tarot series that he's still currently running. One thing I also loved that uh, Brian did is, is the letters page. Letters pages were great in comics. Um, I really enjoyed uh, reading those as a kid, um, just, just to hear what other fans and other people were talking about and what they were interested in comics. And it was a good way for the community before the internet People would just send a letter and you hope to God that your letter got published and answered by the editor. Um, I also like that it shows you some of the other editions that were available for uh, Purgatory. It always told you, hey, here's what's coming up next to give you ideas and the great splash pages for the upcoming titles they had. Just really great stuff, especially if you're nostalgic for 90s comics. It's just... It's something I really love about comics is the ads, the ads for upcoming titles. They're always fun and the letter pages are great. Mid-Ohio Con, cool little uh, flyers for old uh, comic cons from back in the day. Uh, that was my favorite. Evil Ernie versus Movie Monsters because it's like, hey, they got a Godzilla homage in there. Oh, yeah. It's a real fun book. You could tell Brian and everyone were 
really big fans of horror films and comics, just even today, how they try to keep that feeling of old school comic book collecting and that feeling of um, community um, used to get a lot uh, with the letter pages and stuff. With the internet, it's definitely um, created a whole new way of doing it. So everything you can be chatting with, you can be, you know, messaging people, friends with people on social networks to create a group. And that's one thing I think is really amazing now is seeing all these great groups of comic fans, um, not just uh, for Coffin, but there's also the ones for Chaos as well. Miguel wants to know, are there any of the original challenge coins left after the online con? Um, maybe on the store. I think I'm out on the eBay location. Um, that was definitely something I think you might want to look on the Lady Death store for. Um, I did put some on the eBay store, and I think those are gone, but if I have some more, you know, Miguel, we'll definitely see what we can do. I think there might, if there is any, there might be very few, because I know it's hard for me to get one. Um, next up, another great um, crossover. You had the Purgatory versus Vampirella. Um, I like that publishers, uh, crossovers, uh, publishers that get their top characters and uh, mix and match and have fights or team ups. It's always um, classic comics. I used to love it when you had um, other companies crossing over. I mean, I think DC and Dark Horse did some of the weirdest ones like Superman, Batman versus Aliens, Predators and stuff like that. I mean, it was really crazy stuff. Um, I remember they had the DC versus Marvel where people got to um, vote uh, which characters won what fight and whatnot. And this is chaos, of course. Brian did uh, some really cool crossovers. This one was perfect because you've got Purgatory versus Vampirella. And she was with Harris Comics. Really beautiful art in here. This is another great book. Old Infinity Comics ads. Yeah, just great stuff. Um, if I recall, this takes place in uh, 2020. And uh, Vampirella asks Purgatory to help her fight uh, Jade um, since she has uh, taken over the world. Next up, and I know this sounds like the Purgatory Hour, but this is all the newest stuff I uploaded. That was the last of my uh, chaos stuff when I was doing some digging around. Purgatory Monthly, number one. It's only $5. I do have a few copies in stock of these. Miguel, I'm actually surprised you don't have that original challenge coin. It kind of surprises and shocks me. Um, you always seem to be up on all the coolest stuff because everyone's got the cool uh, baseball jerseys and whatnot. And I'm just like, oh, I can't wait till I get my hands on some of that stuff. Go. Dane wants to know, when are we going to see the shot glasses, mugs, and other merch on the online store? Good question. It's actually something that's exclusive when you go into the uh, boutique. Um, it is something I'm sure we're probably uh, thinking about doing. It's just making sure we can get them packaged and shipped safely and without them getting broken because um, it is glass. Um, the pint glasses are great. Um, we also have shot glasses and coffee mugs. And right now, the, those are only available in the actual um, coffin shop that's at HQ. Um, if anyone would like to visit the shop um, after everything is all calmed down, you can definitely uh, set an appointment at inquiries at coffincomics.com. We have set up special appointments so people can go into the uh, little shop we have, uh, the little gift shop, and it has uh, exclusive covers. You also have shot glasses, um, our little swarm foam fingers, our cowbells, a lot of other fun little stuff that... Um, you can really only get there, so we try to keep it um, exclusive with some really cool stuff. Um, I know there was a bunch of people that were at our Kickstarter event uh, last month, and um, <laughs> they, we blew through a lot of stock, um, so it, it, we have to restock it again. <laughs> and then also, we uh, took it down so we could do some shooting um, uh, during the Coffin Comics Con online, and if anyone... Um, joined us for that. I hope everyone had fun because it was a lot of fun to put together and we were really impressed with how quickly we were able to 
get that put together, get all the merchandise and get all the guests real quick to make a, a little convention experience for you all at home. Again, Purgatory number two. I do have a few copies. They are $5. <clears throat> Gail says he is looking for the challenge coin for his son. He said he already has one. So he did get Oh, one. okay. Well, we'll definitely have to get one. Is he old enough to drink now, though, Miguel? Is he 21 yet? Because you know those challenge coins... There is a challenge. You got to buy people drinks if you ain't got it. So, is he of age? Come on, Miguel. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> Next up is Purgatory Monthly number four. Again, it's $5. Again, another Chaos Comics classic. I remember um, originally most of Chaos Comics were all... Um, miniseries or one shots um and they started to announce like hey we're going to be doing monthly series as well and um you had the lady death monthly evil Ernie, um purgatory and i think chastity also and that was a big deal because all of this was slowly counting down until the end of um armageddon so yeah that was cool to see the countdown each month 12 months and boom boom it's a really fun time um when Brian would be like, hey, we're counting it down. 2000, Armageddon, and hit the Chaos Universe. Another fun find. We got the Purgatory number five monthly. Again, this is also $5. Pardon me. I had a couple carrots before I went on air, and um, they're making me gassy. At least I'm burping and not the other end, because, huh, boy, that would be embarrassed. Um, next up, this is my last copy. This is Purgatory number seven, and this is the Purgatory versus Dracula. It's signed by Brian. It's only five dollars. This is the last one I have in stock. Uh, like I say, still not um, done digging around. I hope I can dig around and find more of this stuff for you guys, because um, I get excited. I get really giddy when we open up the box of the new comics that are just coming in from the printers, and you know, yes, sometimes that smell of ink as it comes out of the box is 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 very uh exhilarating um to know that it's like hey you know look what we made and um it's very rewarding and it's great when we hear the reactions from you guys um when it gets shipped out to you and it's all in your hands next up another fun item this is uh purgatory collected edition volume three this is collects uh purgatory monthly uh, four and five which are written by david quinn um I have a bunch, uh, quite a few of these. I think I have eight to 10 in stock and they are 15. And I really liked this idea. If you missed out an issue, um, uh, Chaos would publish um, two issues in a nice mini graphic novel. And it was great. If you ever uh, missed out on the issues and you're like, oh, I don't want to hand out my originals. You could have these, put them on your books loan them out to people and not worry about your books getting damaged or jacked because it's like, hey, I still have my originals. These are people always would use, um, at least a lot of collectors I knew were like, hey, this is to hand loaners so people don't mess with their collection. Um, I, I love stuff like this. This is really fun to find and um, hopefully I can find more stuff like this because again, I don't see any of the purgatory trades in my digs um usually it's like lady death odyssey uh, a few copies of the uh or evil ernie youth gone wild and, and what have you so i hopefully um in my diggings and adventures in hq i will find more purgatory graphic novels i'm hoping hoping next up um this is a really really neat find um this is um the wwf china number one this is from Wizard World Chicago. It's a super premium edition by Mike Diodato Jr. This is the only thing I have put up to bid on. It's $30. It's signed by China. Um, I asked uh, Francesca about it and she said, yeah, she, she remembered she was a really sweet gal. Um, just impressive to see that you had this female wrestler that at the time her and Lita were the only women wrestlers that I thought were of any type of athletic attributes. I mean, they could get in there and wrestle with the guys. Uh, Lita was my favorite and she was amazing to watch doing a, 
a lot of the moves she learned in Mexico and in Japan when she was doing the independent circuit and in some of the early uh, ECW stuff. Uh, when she went to the WAF, I was just ecstatic. Um, it just was sucked that uh, there wasn't a lot of female wrestlers that she could wrestle, um, but it was cool she could mix it up with a lot of the big guys and uh, hold her own. And then you had China, who was just amazing to watch. Um, people I know who had met her, um, unfortunately she passed away, gosh, almost, how long has it been now? Almost 10 years? It's been a while. Um, but a lot of people I know who met her said she was just really nice. She was a big wrestling fan. I watched documentaries on her and she was amazing. She was amazing. She really broke the ground uh, for women in wrestling. I mean, she really just took it to a whole nother level. You had women's divisions, but she just, just there was no one like her. She was, she could take on the big boys. She could power slam them and do all that stuff. It was amazing. Um, this is the only one I was able to find. This is the China number one. <clears throat> this is from Wizard World Chicago. This is a super premium edition with a great cover by Mike Diodato Jr. It is signed by China. There's a cool COA back cover. There was only a thousand of these made. Fun little book. It was really cool when um, Brian and Chaos uh, did the licensing for WWF. They did uh, China. Mankind, uh, The Undertaker, who had, um, God, I, I want to say over 12 issues. He had a monthly series, and then he also had uh, a couple one-shots and Halloween specials, and he was a perfect fit for Chaos. Perfect fit. And it was amazing, and it made me so proud of Chaos and, and Brian and them that, wow, this small publisher in the Valley of the Sun in Arizona got the WWF license and that I thought that was amazing I was just like bravo guys bravo and um, Brian told me the story about it about how they went ahead and um, they knew they had like guys like Marvel you know the big publishers out there trying to get the license um, and they just had folks to talk stories my neighbor's leaving for it my neighbor uh, <laughs> this is really odd to be doing this inside the home um, but anyways, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they went in there with a mock-up book that said, boom, this is how it's going to look. Here's the cover. Here's the interiors, what it looked like. Their presentation was right on, and they were just like, cool, you actually brought a finished product. So, again, Brian um, went above and beyond to really bring this uh, to Vince McMahon and them, and it was very successful. Um, so this is... Only one I have. It's the only thing I've put up today that's going to be a bid. Starting bid is 30. <clears throat> and this is signed by China herself at the Wizard World uh, show in Chicago. <clears throat> Another fun thing that they did also, The Rock, number one. This is the premium cover. I only have two of these left. There's 15 left. I mean, they're $15. I only have two left. Great painted cover. I mean, was it my, John Michael Beck? I believe his name is. Let's see, premium cover was David Michael Beck. But yeah, there you go. The Rock's gambling it up. Miami. But yeah, beautiful book. Beautiful premium cover. Again, only have two of these left. 15. Once they're gone, that's it. All you big Dwayne The Rock Johnson fans or just Dwayne Johnson fans. Um, it's kind of crazy. I've, I've, I've watched the whole WWF Attitude Era and The Rock was one of my favorite heels because um, he had great mic skills and then uh, he became a face. Um, and that was really cool too because you know, it's, it's the same guy. Um, but when he started doing movies, he was like, oh, okay, this should be interesting. And all of a sudden, you know, it's like, well, maybe he'll just be in a lot of direct to <clears throat> video or DVDs. But no, he's blown up. Dude's like almost in every movie. Uh, seems like every month he's got at least one movie coming out. But I'd like to think this is his first comic book appearance. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If anyone's a fan of uh, WWF, WWE, give a shout out. Let me know who your favorite wrestlers are. I am way behind in the times. 
Uh, my cameraman here is my nephew. He is uh, he has done filming some independent wrestling, so he's helping me out today with um, doing all the filming. And another really trippy thing that um, Chaos did, and I remember they were releasing some of these uh, the comic book editions with CDs, is the Insane Claim Posse, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers. Number one, this is their second series. It was a one-shot, if I recall. It's $8. This is my last copy. And I remember they were doing a countdown for one of their albums, and each issue came with a CD that had a couple of the songs. So if you bought each issue, you would slowly um, have, like, almost half a record of the whole record, and there were all little, little mini CDs that came in the back of the comics. And they were really great. I know I have some in my personal collection um, somewhere in my storage unit when I get in there and do some digging out. I know I have a lot of cool chaos stuff that who knows, maybe I'll just donate it for all of you guys um, because I've got a lot of fun, cool stuff and I think it'd be great stuff to maybe put on the eBay store. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, I think it'd be cool. I'm willing to do that. For you guys um, to help you guys finish off your collections I'm more than willing to sell what I have in my collection um, once I get in there gotta pull out the whole long box I'm not as young as I used to be so now lifting up long boxes are uh, hell on my back uh, anyone else who has a big comic collection long boxes suck um, I prefer the short boxes those build up quickly because when you start collecting and you're into your certain books and your characters, you really go crazy. Um, I'm going to have him do a quick pan of the books real quick. I'm just going to grab a quick drink of water while I still have a voice. Again, we don't do shout outs here on the uh, Coffin Comics uh, Shopping Network. Most of our stuff, uh, we provide links for you to click on and then you can go ahead and shop away. Um, we have the links to the Lady Death store and today's focus is our eBay store and a lot of the fun stuff we present on there and a lot of this stuff is things that I have went through and dug uh, through mini boxes, moved to mini boxes, um, very dusty boxes to show you all this great stuff and Brian Really takes care of his books. He went ahead and pretty much everything's bagged and boarded or if he had quantities It was bundled in a plastic um, large plastic um, Golden Age magazine bag um, So they're in a lot of really great shape uh, anything that is dinged up I usually will save that for whenever we do Nick and Dent sales um, so look for that stuff whenever we do a Nick and Dent sale here at the stores. Um, again, this is just showing you uh, some of the fun stuff I've uploaded on eBay today. And I will be loading up stuff pretty much every day. Um, next week I will be loading up um, the Lady Death CrossGen comics. And also everything I have left of the Lady Death Avatar books. Um, I do have some of the cool foil covers and prison covers and all the other type of cool fancy covers. Um, some of those I only have onesies on. Some of those I do have maybe two or three max. And then once that's it, that's it. And that's the type of stuff I've been putting on our eBay store. Just to kind of um, show you guys that, you know, we do have lots of great stuff from uh, Brian's past publications. Um, and... Um, all the great characters he's created for us in his over 26 years of publishing. Um, again, one of the items that's uploaded, I always love this cover. This is the Dead Tears Premium Edition. It's Homicide number one. I believe I have like two copies of this. This is always just a really great piece. I had a friend that actually framed this cover and put it on his wall in his um, collection room. He, like me, was a big Godzilla nut, so he had a lot of Godzilla toys, and he had the biggest Chaos Comics uh, collection I had ever seen. Action figures, the limited action figures, the, I mean, he had it all because he was part of the original Fiend Club from back in the day. Um, I believe Miguel and a lot of the viewers there today were also part of that club, I believe, back in the day. 
Another item I'll be, I've uploaded. I only have one set of this. It's twelve dollars. It's issues one, two, three, and four of Cremator. And there's the little countdown. Thirteen. Another great one. Uh, this is a cool little um, anthology book for all you old uh, Chaos fans or people that um, are just now starting to buy into the Chaos comic stuff. This set features stories of these characters. You have a, a Lady Death story, Cremator, Purgatory, Bedlam, uh, Lady Demon, Robo Evil, Cremator, Bad Girls. Again, more Evil Ernie, um, The Crippler, Cremator, and Lady Death stories. And just really beautiful covers. It's a Julie Bell from 95. We have the original one at HQ. It's a gorgeous painting. And Boris Vallejo's just dramatic pose of Lady Demon. And the great Joe Jusco. Really classic. I, um, I love the, the cheesecake smile she has. It's like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm sexy. I'm a badass. And Lady Death is a hell of a badass. Um, I don't know if anyone watched um, this past weekend when we had um, Sapphire Nova on. Uh, she was doing a cosplay thing. And she told me a little bit about, you know, what Lady Death meant for her. And she said, you know, a lot of people feel, you know, women who uh, look beautiful are just like a sex item. But she was the type of character she loved that was really tough, strong, independent woman that could hold her own. She was never a damsel in distress. Um, and she just loved to take people out um, if he got in her way. Again, this is Chaos Quarterly 1, 2, and 3. This is an anthology series uh, published by Chaos Comics. It's $25 for the set. These are really beautiful, beautiful copies. Um, I was hoping to show you guys the cryptic writings of Megadeth, but someone scooped up that set really quick. Um, so whoever got that, you got them at a really great deal. I also have the Bad Kitty. This is the gold foil edition. It's $15. I think I have two or three of these. I had a blue foil one, and someone scooped that up uh, about a week or two ago. So like I say, I'll put stuff on our eBay store, and I'll do some things that are bids, but there's a lot of stuff that if I have a nice quantity, I will definitely uh, put them up for sale. For not bidding, so you just scoop it up and buy them, get some really good deals. Then we also have the Bad Kitty premium cover by Scott Lewis. This is also uh, issue one. It's $8. Again, I just love that cat. Just love the look on that cat's face. <laughs> it's like, yeah, meow, so what? Another great Scott Lewis Bad Kitty cover. It's time to chastity on the cover. Great piece of art. Bad Kitty Reloaded number four. 2,500 made. The Armageddon set, issues one, two, three, and four. All in one collection. $25. I only have one of this set left, and once that's it, that's it. Uh, unless I find some more, which uh, that would be great, because the more the merrier, right? Again, this is the big Chaos Comics event book where everything was counting down um, each month. Let's see here in the Purgatory. Oh, 11 months, and then boom, Armageddon. And that was, uh, Brian loved to hype the hell out of this. This was, this was a really cool deal over at uh, Chaos. Brian is actually watching now. Hi, Brian. Showing off a lot of the cool stuff from our Chaos Comics past of Brian Polito, the... Uh, Maniacal mind behind Coffin Comics, Lady Death, uh, Hell Witch, La Muerta, which we have a lot of that stuff on our eBay store too, guys. So definitely uh, check it out. I, it's not just classic stuff um, on our eBay store. We also have challenge coins. Um, we have uh, our enamel pins. I just uploaded those, including the cool sworn glow in the dark one. Um, like I say, uh, to prove it glowed in the dark, I stood in a uh, dark closet and took a picture of it glowing so i made sure to show yes that sucker glows and it's beautiful um today we're going to be focusing on the items i've placed up on our ebay store um, a lot of this stuff um, i started uploading about a week ago and a lot of it i've uploaded today including the armageddon 2 here we also have the purgatory versus lady death 
my last copy of that. This was a really cool find. This is Purgatory Ravenous 1. I have two signed, and then I have a few unsigned left. And again, once these are gone on our eBay store, that is it. $25 to sign, $20 for the unsigned. And this is the only story they did. This book never came out, so this is the only way you'll be able to see it. And it's got cool little um, layouts, character designs, pencil sketches, and all that other real cool stuff. Um, I, I really miss ash cans. Those were a really fun advertising way and a cool collectible. Um, uh, if you were into a title, um, they would just make these cool little mini comics that just gave you a little taste, a little teaser. Um, and sometimes to see the raw work on these books was really cool and you were so excited for the upcoming issues when those came out. So those were always fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also found some really amazing Purgatory Vampire Myth 1. This is that beautiful foil cover, 3D embossed. This thing is just, it's like art braille. That's it, art braille. Just beautiful. You can just feel the art. You feel the hair. You feel the skulls and the eyes. The scales of the dragon. And like I say, it's a complete cover. Even has the um, original Chaos Comics COAs. And the ones I was able to find. And just look at that. It's just art braille. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. You just don't see comics like this. And <laughs> Brian was the one that just was like, I got these sick ideas for covers. Um, this is signed by uh, Jim Ballant, Brian Polito, and the amazing Jason Jensen. Got a few of those. Those are $25. And like I say, I have unsigned copies as well. For all those who don't care for sign, uns, uh, signed books, this is 10. Again, just beautiful, beautiful piece. Another fun finds uh, I did is, of course, I almost had a complete runs of the Purgatory Vampire Myth. I also was able to find some of the negative ones. Um, I uploaded those as well. Um, it was cool to find a lot of that stuff. This is just cool stuff that, I say, Brian was uh, thinking outside of the box, I think, way ahead of time when he was coming with the design work for some of his covers and some of his ideas for covers. And you see that today with our Coffin Comics books. Um, also, thank you everyone for uh, the amazing contributions you guys did for the Lady Death Chapter 11. I always, uh, I always mess up the things. But anyways, thank you very much, Chapter 11. Everyone, we did um, a really successful Kickstarter and we can't wait for the next ones that we're going to be doing. We also last week packed up and worked our butts off to get the Hellwitch Kickstarter out to you guys um, and as well as the uh, Coffin Comics Con online stuff that we did uh, last weekend. So a lot of activity in the warehouse. We got a lot of stuff packed and shipped out. Um, we rented a U-Haul that was 20 feet footer. I never drove one like that big before and we filled it up. Um, I'm sure you saw a lot of the cool pictures we posted on our Facebook page. And we shipped that all out, <laughs> drove around to the back of the mailbox, me and Randall o. Hawthorne, and we just unloaded everything into the bins to make sure they all got to you guys really quick. And we already saw a lot of responses for everyone getting them. So thank you everyone for backing up and thank you everyone for supporting Coffin Comics. Um, I'm just gonna take another quick little breather. I'm gonna get another drink of water and I'll be right back. Uh, my cameraman will do a nice pan on all the pretties we have. And this is just a small, section of cool stuff I got. If you are noticed, we are not live in the studios. We're actually in my living room as the sun is being covered up by clouds. I hope we can still get a good shot okay um so i'm in here in my living room i'll be working for home for the next couple weeks um so the next uh this week's episode and next week we'll be focusing our ebay store just some of the cool stuff um that you'll find there a lot of really unique stuff a lot of the classic stuff um some people ask for uh that's where you'll find most of it um 
and I'll be loading up a ton of it. And next week I will have, I'm hoping, um, over a hundred new things for you guys to shop on, on the eBay store. So I got my work cut out for me and, um, yeah, it's been a very interesting week so far. This is day one of working at home. Hey, day one of 14. Um, I'm sure a bunch of other people are also working at home and hi everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I hope everyone's doing all right during this, um, really interesting time we're in right now. Um, but we're here to sell you comic books. We're here to just let you know, hey, we don't close. We just keep going and we keep moving forward because that's what we do here at Coffin Comics. And we also do that here in the great country of America. Thank you, America. Thank you everyone for joining us. Again, this is all fun stuff I have found uh, and I just uploaded onto the eBay store. Um, along with a bunch of other Evil Ernie stuff I have uploaded, uh, the last of the Chastity books I could get my hands on, um, and other cool stuff. Again, um, for all you wrestling fans, I found the China number one. This is the Wizard World Chicago Super Premium Edition. It is signed by China. Cover is done by Mike Diodato Jr. This is the only thing I put up to get bid on. It's $30 for your starting bid. Um, really cool, unique item. I was, um, I was, I, I was really shocked to find this and, uh, Fran did, uh, confirm that, yes, she did sign it. Um, we did have a booth and her and Mankind were there, uh, signing copies of the books. Again, another great find for all you wrestling fans. China number one. And also, I found two copies left of The Rock. This is the premium uh, cover. It's fifteen dollars. I have two of these left. If you guys are big uh, Dwayne Johnson fans, um, this is a really cool thing to get. This is a pretty unique item. Um, this is really popular and came out. I this is one cover I never got to see in my my store. We only got the um, the one regular cover, and then I recalled one that had um, red foil inside the text uh, and those are the only ones I remember getting in my shop at the time these were coming out um, but the Mankind one and the Rock one and the China ones they all sold out quick and then of course uh, if I can get my hands on them uh, I'll be breaking out some Undertaker comics if I can find any uh, in my adventures of uh, digging around in HQ um, I found a lot of really cool Purgatory books Purgatory Lady Death Purgatory Vampirella, the Armageddon set, it's issues one, two, three, and four. This is my last set. I only have one of each of those. I had a couple extra of the twos. Really awesome gold foil Bad Kitty number one. And then I also have a couple of the premium foils made by Scott Lewis. I'm gonna say a lot of this stuff, uh, once it sells out on eBay, that's it. Um, that's it. This is the last of them. Especially this is my last copy of the Insane Clown Posse Amazing Jekyll Brothers. This is the one shot. It's volume two. Again, really beautiful art. I thought it was amazing when uh, Brian got this. ICP has a huge following. Huge following. Um, I mean, people, I love that. That is awesome. That clown skull. Um, I remember going to one of their shows and um, everyone's like, yeah, you're going to get pelted by a Fago. I was like, ha, ha. they had hoses of Fago and they were hosing down the audience. It was freaking hilarious and two liter bottles flying everywhere. Um, a father was next to me with his son on his shoulders and it's his son's first show and he was just drenched in soda and it was a good time had, be, had by all. Um, and this is my last copy of Insane Clown Posse, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers. Also something amazing that Chaos published back in the day. Another cool find was the Purgatory Collected Editions, Volume 3. This is collects issues 4 and 5 of the Purgatory Monthly Series. So you get two comics in one. Again, more great... There's issue 4 and 5 right there. So you'll get these two issues in here. And I am almost sold out of these books. Once they're gone, that's it. I put my quantities on there that I had left. Um, I'm really hoping I can get my hands on more. Um, that'd be something amazing. 
I'm also, like I say, a lot of uh, really cool Evil Ernie books I put on there uh, on the eBay store. Um, all the Chastity books we had left uh, that I find in my adventures of HQ and digging around in all the old archival boxes Brian has. Um, I can't wait uh, to go through more of the archival stuff to find some of the coolest stuff that Brian pulls out uh, that are for the Coffin Comics stuff. He pulled out some amazing stuff for the Coffin Comics Con Online, uh, which is stuff I never even thought existed before. And he's just like, oh yeah, there's this, and look at this. And I just love looking at this stuff because we really do some amazing covers. And you can see... Since the beginning, Brian has just done some really amazing limited editions. Um, trying to find um, research on the issues, I was like, my God, how many, so many different covers for each one, and they were all different. Um, just foil covers, embossed covers, um, you know, onyx covers, the leather covers. Oh my God, the leather covers, those were the coolest thing. Velvet covers. Um, a lot of this is stuff, if I find it, uh, I will be putting it on the eBay store, and I'm hoping, I got my fingers crossed, I'm praying to the comic gods that I can get my hands on some of that stuff so I can throw it on the uh, eBay store, Coffee Comics eBay store, so you guys could just load up on it. Cause I love nothing more than helping people get the books they want. That is the most fun working in this industry, is, is hooking people up with the books to complete a collection, or that one artwork that they just loved and it was their favorite cover and they just hope to God they can find it. They go to shows, they go online. And it's always, always fun to help them complete uh, their collections or get that book they've always desired in their hands. It's always been fun for me. Um, it's like Christmas. It's like being Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and Jack Skellington all in one. It's just so much fun stuff uh, to put in people's hands and see them just like so grateful and just happy as can be to get those books and to complete their collections. It's great. It's always been fun for me. I love doing that for folks. Um, again, these are all books that I have posted on eBay. There's a lot more than this. Uh, this is all the classic Chaos Comics stuff. I will be uploading more as I find it. I have six boxes at the moment full of stuff. Um, to upload, I mean, it's getting ridiculous. Um, the workload I got ahead of me. So um, please be patient. Um, if anyone has any questions, you know, shoot them to me at the eBay store. I'll be happy to answer for you if I have anything or if I got anything cool stuff coming up. But I like to keep you guys in suspense. I like to keep you guys wondering what we'll find. Look at that. The book that was never released. Purgatory Ravenous Ash Can, signed by Brian Polito. That's this is just some of the cool stuff I get to play with. That's I love my job. I love being Brian's archivalist. I love to dig in and look at the cool stuff that it's like uh, it's like a mad scientist showing you all his wonderful creations. That's what working for Brian's like. He's just a mad scientist coming up with these amazing stories and just crazy ideas for events and, and uh, promos that he does and covers. I mean, it's amazing. It, it is so much cool, rare items that I get to see that, um, like I say, when, the last weekend when we were pulling them out, I, I was blown away. I couldn't believe some of the cool stuff we had. Some really cool stuff. And this is just a small piece of our classic stuff. Click on the links. We don't do shout outs here. Um, definitely click on the link and um, do shopping. You sh there's a link there to the um, Lady Death store. Also the Coffin Comics eBay store. Also our Kickstarters and other things so you can see what we're all about. Um, we are the Beatles of Kickstarter comic book funding. We have the number one spot, number two spot, I believe the number three spot. And then we have uh, at least three four other spots in the top 10 so that's pretty awesome that's that's like being Elvis and the Beatles all rolled into one that's not easy to do and we love all you fiends and all you sworn out there that have been supporting us and helping us grow and helping us become a, a better publisher um, so take a look um, a lot of this stuff 
I only have one copies, but I did uh, try to make sure I loaded up a bunch of stuff that was more than onesies, something to share with all of you, something for y'all to pick up. I say, really cool stuff. There's much more, especially for all you Evil Ernie fans. I did load up whatever I could find that was left. <clears throat> and then once they're gone, they're gone uh, until I find more. So I'm always on the lookout to find really cool, unique stuff. Um, there's even some covers I've never seen before, like the Purgatory Ravenous. I heard about this, but I never even saw the book or the ash can. I remember customers asking for this, um, and it's like, I, I don't have him. <laughs> and there was uh, like 900, 999, under 1,000 made of these. And I have, I think, two signed and maybe two or three unsigned, maybe less than that. And once these are gone, that's it. Um, this is just a lot of the fun stuff I like to upload uh, onto eBay. Um, and other fun stuff. Also, you'll find some um, uh, CGC graded books. Uh, I think I've uploaded a couple. One is gone. I might be down to one, and I got to get some more stuff up on there for you guys. But we try to make it fun, and we try to make it a great experience for you guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to eat this delicious dinner that's been cooking behind me that smells really good. And I've been Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Take it easy. Bye.